ha ya 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 ya. What's up, nerds and turds? Welcome to Indies Nuts Podcast. I am one of your hosts, Stephen Fontana. And with me are my brosives from other motherservists. Uh, no. Yeah. One of them. <laughs> is, oh, I man. thought you were going to say from other Moses. I thought you were going to say yeah. that. Yeah, that would have been like, perfect. Do we both want to have a Moses? Like, is that what we want to do? From another All Moses? Three, from another, I don't know. Brosives from another Moses. It's multiple universes or whatever. Multiverse of Madness. Oh, right okay. here. Oh, yeah. Which one am I? I don't know. Am I one, two, or three? It's one. Okay. Three. That's a, there's no way I'm three. <laughs> there's no way I'm three. I'm three. <laughs> anyway, that's Andy Asimakis over there. Hi, Andy. How are you? How's it going? I'm very excited for this week's show. Oh, my God. There's so many. It's all. It's, see, I feel like this was waiting for us mm. just for our recording. Mm. I'm going to give you a nice little indie showcase package mm -hmm. to discuss and unpack on your show. So mm -hmm. thank you, Nintendo, yes. for that. We appreciate it. Indeed. And the other one over here, that's Missed Enough, Matt Murray. How are oh. you, Matt? What's going on, guys? Uh, how are you? Are you doing good, good? man? Yeah, yeah, doing good. Yeah, doing I got right? my toe cut up at the doctor this morning. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh. Was that no, on purpose? Fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, so it wasn't like you went for like a checkup and then they just like dropped something on your foot and cut it up into pieces. A little bit, of, a little bit of both. Oh, they found something. They biopsied yeah. something. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> I have a, I, I, I have a, a, a toe problem and it got taken care of today. Oh, hammer toe. My toes. Dun, 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 dun. Dan, I can't touch this. Anyway, <laughs> welcome everybody to Indies Nuts Podcast. That's I, right. I got I to gotta use that one day. I have a toe problem. <laughs> I have a toe problem. Hey, hey, boss, I can't come in. I have a toe problem. I have a toe problem. And yeah, it, is, it is, it like, it invites questions, but you don't want to ask them. It's like, you know what? You deal. Deal yeah. with your toe problem. Do, I don't want to do know see, what that's about. Do you see how quickly that deflected that yeah. whole situation? It it did. Very, I, I want to know very little about your toe, <laughs> as a matter of fact. As a matter of fact, I already know too much. I know that you have a toe problem, and for me, yep. that's an issue. That's like, enough. I don't want to know that. <laughs> We're not that close of friends yet. <laughs> anyway, ladies and gentlemen, this is Indies Nuts Podcast, and we are your hosts, and we are just nuts about <laughs> indies. We're your new home for all things indie game news, previews, reviews, so hit that sub button sit back relax grab a drink maybe follow along with us if you want on articles that we're that we're talking about or anything like that get your google machine ready get your steam page open because we're going to tell you all about the sweet sweet hotness things to keep your eyes on and things that are happening in the, in the indie scene um but speaking of the cool things that are happening on the indie scene andy we have mm. right now in early access on our patreon patreon.com slash nds podcast we want to thank our patreon producers colton the apprentice nestler fnh paul who is now currently in the united states states welcome to the states fnh oh, paul welcome he's back. here he's in new york i believe like i like as of now like i think lordy like lordy lordy um we want to thank you for your support but right now we have a the latest episode of dual screens podcast which is actually going up tomorrow anyway for everyone else to hear but andy why don't you tell everybody who we have uh visiting the dual screens oh podcast my this god week. we took we met a really cool dude named yeah. romaine lettuce great guy yes <laughs> Roma. that was it or was it Roman Claude? Roman Claude. Name? Claude. And the developer of Tinykin, which is, mm. oh, it's yeah. like, it's Pikmin, but it's Banjo-Kazooie mm -hmm. rolled up in a Paper Mario aesthetic. Yeah. So cute. So fun. There's a demo out right now on Steam. So go play it. Check it out. Interview is amazing. A lot of fun. Some fun facts. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, it was a lot of fun. Fun guy. Great game. Very excited. Yeah, that Very game looks really fun. Mm -hmm. Very, very exciting. Also, what is exciting, what's new here at DualScreens.com. Ladies and gentlemen, we have finally hit the threshold. We are at 1,000 sub subscribers to our YouTube channel. Uh, we are at, I think, uh, 1,080 or something like that. Um, just, just, just an incredible it thing. It keeps going up, baby. It, it keeps going up. We, we <laughs> had one video that just hit really, really hard. Of them numbers. And it's great, and it's like the, the simplest video, and I have very, very little... Uh, anger towards Andy for doing something so simple and getting us so many views. Um, you know, I'm always low effort. <laughs> low, low hanging fruit, low effort. High I, I, I put high in yield. no effort, but when I do, it, I always hit the mark. Low effort. <laughs> that means high, high, high ROI, man. On yeah, that, man. On that right. video. Any return would have been good, but you're you're hitting it. You're knocking it out of the park. So we're going to have a lot more of that kind of content. What content was that, Andy? What's the one that people seem to really love? Oh, that was our Cult of the Lamb Paxis demo playthrough, which wouldn't have happened if we didn't have our scheduled appointment canceled by devolver and they were like we're so sorry here's the demo take it home yeah. so whatever not even not even 
resentment or anger. It was like, ah, oh, the game looked so good. I was like, ah, oh, now I got to wait to play this game till I get home. That was all washed away when the video went up and then it just like shot up. Yeah. And I'm not sure what algorithm we caught, but it ca- it caught out to something. We got the and... people who love cults, which means we got yeah. some women. <laughs> right. Um, we, we got murder mystery women. We yes. got animal lovers. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> be getting all the uh, lamb chops play along fans. We got all like, those kids. We got all the. I just I like the idea of somebody looking for true crime stumbling into that video with zero like, commentary oh, on this? it and just ending up watching the whole thing. I haven't like, seen this waiting for, documentary waiting for something to happen. <laughs> it's based on a true story, by the way. It all is. Yeah, right. It's one hundred percent based. On it's all real. Um, so yeah, uh, hit up our YouTube channel, youtubecom slash dual screens TV, um, where you can see all of our content. It is happening so much we have and we have a ton of written content going up as well uh our previews from packs are still going up they're still being edited refined so and posted. Many. um i have two more that are going to be coming out uh tomorrow so that's exciting um so yeah man we we've been we've been doing a lot of that but now let's talk about the other thing we've been doing andy uh and that is our indie game adventures but i want to <laughs> start I want to start with Missed Enough. Because mm. you've been you've been screaming I, about a game. I have been. You've been literally screaming in Discord. I'm trying to get everybody to buy this game. Okay. Well tell me Be- tell me about it. Alright. So good. Have you played it? I've played it. What and it's incredible. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Thank you. Uh so we're talking about Revita. Um this is a roguelike that uh i stumbled upon on youtube when it came out uh i bought it instantly because i I had like done a bunch of research on it and it is this beautifully uh animated and uh pixel arty platformer shooter roguelike it is uh reminded me a lot of binding of isaac um but it just it has all the trappings of what everybody loves about roguelikes and for some reason literally nobody i know is covering this game and it has so much to give. Maybe not in story. Like, there's a lot of... Uh, it's kind of, like, bare bones in story. But as far as, like, I want to play this again, that one more run type feeling, it is right there. Mm. Um, and very similar to Binding of Isaac, it has these, like, tiny little digestible rooms that you can beat in, like, 30 seconds, and then you're moving on to the next room. And then you beat the next room. And then, you know, you get get up all these floors and you end up fighting a boss. And it's fast uh, and, and quick and... One of the things I love about it is how well the items are made and how it describes exactly what it will do to you. And so instead of like some other roguelikes, the the items are kind of vague. It's just like, hey, you got like a twin sword soul dick or something, and mm, right. it doesn't tell you what it does. This is like, hey, you got this thing, and it makes enemies shoot three uh, missiles out of them when you kill them. And so you can really intelligently put together a run if you want to because you you know what things do uh mm. like right off the bat and it really is just something that anybody who likes roguelikes anybody who loves pixel art great music uh and who just has that need for like a shooter jumpy Mega Man platformer uh should absolutely buy and it's cheap it's not even that expensive it's like 15 bucks when did this game come out uh two weeks ago i think okay they, they just hit it's- out of early access i feel or they hit one point oh like built it was like here we yeah. go it's out it's ready it's done I, I think they've been in early access for about a maybe about a year now mm-hmm. okay um well now the question that i know andy wants to ask so i'm gonna ask it for him no boss battles what are we talking about uh the boss battles are great uh they are uh linked to the floor that you're on right so okay. the way that it works is uh every floor has a series of rooms uh, and at the end of that series of rooms is always the same boss but uh, their attack patterns, uh, the colors, everything is completely different. You're talking mm. like not room filling bosses, but bosses whose enemy, uh, whose attacks will fill rooms, and you're constantly dodging, jumping, and trying to figure out their patterns, dodging out of ways. It's, it's it's great. Nice. Yeah. Um. When I was playing it, I was immediately reminded of my struggles with Rusted Moss at Pax East because it has the, <laughs> because it has oh, that because it has that that directional aiming that 360 yeah uh aiming but the controller is mapped so well right because the jump 
Yep. Yeah, it just mapped so perfectly that I just fell into it and I was just running and gunning, dashing and dodging. It is such a beautifully pixelated game. Like the graphics are just so well done. Mm. Like there's so much charm in your little blue haired hero. Like I want to give him a hug. He looks so goddamn cute. I think that's really <laughs> one of the best things about the game is that there's just this charm and, and it's very whimsical mm-hmm. in, in a lot of the ways that it presents itself. And uh, you don't see a lot of that. Uh yeah, and it doesn't take itself too seriously either. There's no like, I mean, I love games that have like a nice, like deep plot to get into. But this is like, you're a dude. There's a floating gun on you. <laughs> go shoot some <laughs> shit and have a blast. And there's, literally, yeah, like so you have amnesia. You're this kid. Mm-hmm. There's a tower that you look at ominously in like a two second cut sc- cut scene, and they're like, "All right, go." <laughs> <laughs> And you do, you pick up like pieces of lore as you go, but it's not a game that really heavily relies on lore. One mm-hmm. of my, the, the other great things about it is that like I'm still stumbling into systems and mechanics that exist within the game. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I'm probably a good 40 hours in at this point and, oh and Ooh, things okay. continue to pop up. Um, That's really deep. It, it's got it's got a it's got a tail. Uh, it, right. it's, it, it's fantastic. You, everybody should pick it up. I'm, that's the only time I've seen Fantastic this episode. I don't care how many times well, you say Fantastic. I, I say it, if I say it again, you tell me. That we will. Fantastic. <laughs> where, 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 where's, where's the notepad? Andy, <laughs> what, else have you, what else have you been playing? So I played a game that I discovered for the first time on the Indie World Showcase yesterday. It's a really cute game called uh, Elec Head. Yes. Oh, yeah. So, you know... I'm watching this trailer and I'm like, oh shit, this looks like fucking Mega Man and Blockhead puzzle platforming. I'm all over it. It looks incredible. And it's already out on Steam. It's been it's been out for quite some time. It's just coming to the Switch for the first time right. later this year. So I was like, oh, I'm buying this. Ten dollars? There's no reason why I'm not buying this game. Right. And I bought it like right after I bought Revita, just so everyone knows what my last what my last two days were like. <laughs> um, Hold on. So, yes, isn't it Revita? No, no, no. Because no. Vita means life. Re means no, no. again. Revita it's because revitalize. revitalize. Yes. Because okay. so one of the mechanics that I totally glazed over. I'm so sorry. Uh, entirely. <laughs> <laughs> I just sandbagged the shit out of this. But that was just no. It, 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 it's good to ask questions, you know. Yeah, it's, no. Uh, it's so we all learn and grow. Yeah. So one of the like the the main mechanic of the game really is that every item that you get essentially uh aside from boss items is like uh cost you life mm-hmm. uh and you can revitalize yourself by keeping a chain meter full and killing enemies and when you fill these soul bars by keeping that full uh you can revitalize your health uh, and mm. even extend your health bar uh if you're good enough it's oh. it, it's a really cool mechanic okay and so to just to like expound on what matt's saying you make these offerings to these little statues to gain these items, but you can increase the level of life you give up. So you can offer up more of your hearts for better abilities, but you could die in the next room if you don't play your cards right. So yeah. it's, it's it's a very fun mechanic, how it all comes in place yeah. together. And, but, and then and then on top of that, mm-hmm. the more the more hearts that you give to it initially or like at any point mm-hmm. increases the rarity for future right. statues. I sandbag the shit out of that. Okay. That sounds good. <laughs> no, listen, you, you brought it back. It's fine. things we missed about we, a really yeah, great game. Back. We made a great game sound even better. So I'm not going to, I'm not going to knock you for that. I'm, gonna I'm not going to punch in the tits now. for that. Totally fine. Um, but yes, I like it. Yeah. Sorry. So, um, imagine, <laughs> imagine Hideo Kojima when he makes a game. It's like, this is, this is peak, whatever Kojima does. Okay. That's like his peak thing. I feel like a Lekhead is like peak video game design. I have never felt so satisfied in puzzle completion mm-hmm. ever. Ever? Ever. I don't know that's, about that. And a, listen, listen, listen. And I've played some games that make me feel like a big dum dum. And then it's like, oh, wow, I figured it out after like 20 tries. I did it. And you feel good. You feel satisfied. 
but there's something about how this game does it. Mm. Cause like the whole part of it is like, you have to detach. You could detach your head or throw your head to activate electricity, but to like open up platforms or open doors. But if it's detached for more than 10 seconds, your body explodes and you die. <laughs> so that's like another part of the gameplay. And that whole like beats a clock aspect plus the puzzle solving part, it all just blends so beautifully that it, it's like the game is like all these aha moments. And it's so satisfying. And it, I love it. I love it, love it, love it. It reminds me of the platforming aspect of Guacamelee. Mm -hmm. Like how mm -hmm. just playing with that, this platform does nothing, but now it does something. Right. But the other thing doesn't do anything. Right. And you have to like switch back and forth, back and forth. Right. But imagine that being just the sole focus of the game right. where, where it's all about the puzzles and it's right. all about the platforming. I love that it's like almost monochrome. Like it, it has the right. Game Boy feel to it. Mm -hmm. uh, and then just, I, I haven't played it myself, but watching the gameplay of it, it looks like it has a really great game feel to it. Yeah, and the dev is really sweet. We talked on Twitter for a little bit. I was like, man, your game is amazing. I love it. And he's just learning English also. So he's like, oh, thank you. So thank you for supporting my game. And we're going to do a little interview on the written side for the website at some point in the near future. That so, is going to be very, dope. I have a, that. a list of games that I'm going to be able to talk about next week because I padded mm. my list of like, everything i need to do and <laughs> let me just tell you what's what's happening here uh on my list i got uh dark quest board game the game hmm? yeah look it up hmm? dark, dark quest board game that's what it's called the um, game the well it's not called the game but it, it is the you know, it's the a game. board game but it's a video game hmm? i'm gonna be doing the gremlins <laughs> <tale demo. laughs> what? Qua? Yeah. exactly Schwa? I'm going to do the Gremlins Tale demo. Yes, yes, yes. Please do. Please I'm going to do. do the Eternal Exodus demo. Please, yes, more. Yes, 100 times yes. I am going to finally, <laughs> finally play the, which just got actually updated qu quite heavily, uh, Holomento. I'm going to finally oh get it. You're really like. Wait, is that, is that, uh, I know that it's it didn't do access. so hot on. Okay, I might have to buy that because I was really amped for that game. Yeah, when they came on the show, mm -hmm. uh, I was really into that whole idea of like the switching different, the the different classes and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. It looked it looked so good. I'm gonna do your gun, Andy. Oh my god, dude! You don't like? I'm just I'm in the mood, <laughs> so... man. I want to do it. Um, and then <laughs> there was a, there was, Hour. And then there was a game on Switch right. that I got a code for that I wasn't able to start because every time I wanted to start it, I all just right. couldn't do it. So that's coming. Go through all those. Pick a top two for next week because the, the wait. whole show is going to be you playing games. Wait. <laughs> I'm, I'm telling you this is the plan. Well, what happened? God but only also, knows. Also, <laughs> a game that was talked about and, and stealth released at the uh, Indie ah. World Showcase. Ah. Uh, mini I know. Metro. Oh, yeah. dude. I'm, we're on, we're on the same review request thread, Steve. Definitely. Get, I'm, I'm just going to buy it, if anything. Like, I did request, but I'm going to probably just buy it if they, if they did not. I don't think it's I even that expensive I either. The, the, no, it's like 10 bucks. Yeah. I love the other one, the, the uh, train. So mi or, no, so you're, you're thinking or, Mini Motorway, which motorways, is the new yes. one. Mini, mini Metro, Metro the one is the original one. Mini motorways, and the, yes, mm -hmm. thank you. It's such a fun puzzler. Oh, my God. Um, I, it's like, it's just so cathartic. The, that game it's really, like, su yeah, it's super soothing. Yeah, it's just like, you just sit there, you're like, ah, la, 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 dee, 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 dee. oops, okay. Yeah, but then, then, then it, so it goes, <laughs> it, it, it goes like from, it goes, it goes very quickly from, oh, this is really soothing to like, oh my God, this is the most chaotic game <laughs> what, I've ever what played. What do I do? <laughs> what do I do? <laughs> Everyone's dying. <laughs> um, so why don't we segue into the Indie World Showcase then? Let's yes. get, let's talk about some of our, our highlights, our lowlights. Um, so yeah, uh, I think that that is really cool. It, it's you know it's a simple game. It's not going to light the world on fire, but they but it's such a oh dude, don't knock a minimalist game. I know those it's, are always the like, best games. It's, it's the kinds of games that like people aren't going to be like, I gotta buy it. It's going to be like, no dude, like I, you, you. I should, don't know. You should buy this game. Like it's great. Like I would have to convince my inner circle of non podcast listening people to buy the game yeah right but 
it looks beautiful and it's it's actually hilarious the shit that could happen in that game um i want to get dinosaur polo club on the show all right i want to do it i want to talk to okay him. all right um, i'll i i shall make it be indeed and of course <laughs> we you already mentioned we're uh elec head it was announced coming to the switch so those are two games right out of the way right right getting right out of the way but i want to talk about one of our friends uh doink soft who we met at oh pax boy. east has another game coming i love this this um, looks beautiful I love this so much and it sure does <laughs> and we're talking about a game called gunbrella andy tell us about gunbrella god gunbrella is a game where you have an umbrella that's also a gun <laughs> It's like someone looked at the gun blade from FF8 and was like, we could do better than this. Uh-huh. <laughs> or like they watched a lot of Penguin on the Batman. And they're like, you know what? That's actually not a bad idea. The whole like umbrella as a gun thing. <laughs> so it's like a noir detective story, side scrolly platformer. I'm not sure if it's a Metroidvania like ty- type of format, but it seemed that way. Mm. Big screen filling boss fights. And you have an umbrella that has a little gun at the end that you can shoot people with, that you can boop them from underneath with, and it's magical. It's the most magical looking thing I've seen. You look super mobile in this game. Yeah. Like the mobility is crazy looking. And the crazy thing is, like our you know, we met these guys at Pax East doing soft, and they they made a game called Gato Robota, which I loved. It was a very minimalist black and white metroidvania you play as a cat in a suit of armor it's like samus but there's a cat in there instead of a lady and you could get out right right so super minimalist and the, and they're also releasing a uh, demon throttle which is like a homage to a really old nes games like gunsmoke that perspective like the top-down shooter and you know they're not like this high octane super polished pixel art making team but then they were like oh yeah that's our game (laughs) i was like what this is coming out of you guys where where was this where did it come from but uh yeah it looks really good i can't wait to play it to get him on the show in a couple of weeks to talk about that and also demon throttle but man that this was like a big hit for the show for me because it looks fantastic so goddamn good um yeah i mean it just it looks phenomenal it looks like a game that's gonna make me my head hurt um but (laughs) i'm down i'm down for that um there was a couple of uh, of good ones there's a a steve and perger game here uh wild frost from our friends at chucklefish oh Um, yeah oh yes as a deck builder right it's a deck builder Mm -hmm. tactical roguelike deck builder that's how they're 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 describing it, um, mm-hmm. and it's coming uh, out on Switch this holiday. I have no idea if that's coming to anything else. I guess I could look. Um, this art style reminds me of this mobile game called uh, Meteor Fall. Uh, it's just like very cartoony, uh, very bright, poppy. Um, I wonder if they're similar companies. Uh, it looks like it is coming in the winter to Steam. Winter 2022. So there you go. It's it's coming across, you know, to Switch and mm-hmm. and at least coming to Steam. Um, one of the, one game that was actually released uh, yesterday after the after the um, showcase was Soundfall, which by the way might be the game that I'm most excited for. And I missed that it actually was coming out yesterday, and mm-hmm. I saw somebody streaming it today, and it looks incredible. Couch co-op, Steven. It's okay. got couch co-op. It's action RPG. But it's rhythm based combat. Mm-hmm. I bought it. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Just now? <laughs> no, like yesterday. <laughs> okay. And it is really good, but I am so bad at it because <laughs> the first few levels, right? It's like teaching you the mechanics, uh-huh. and the beats are like kind of slow. And I just want to shoot, 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 shoot. But you can't just shoot, 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 because if you go off beat your shots suck or they don't shoot at all and so <laughs> your gun it's will jam. very yeah it's yeah. very fun uh very fluid and the music is great but i'm trying well, to get out of the space of okay shoot 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 shoot, shoot, shoot. did you no, know Matt. 
that you can upload your own tracks. I did not know that. That's amazing. I think that might just be Jesus. for the That's Steam a game changer. one. But that is something you can do. But yes, it is also on Steam. Uh, it's 15% off right now. It's twenty five forty nine on Steam. Mm. Um, I think wow. it's 30 bucks on Switch. Um, it, looks, it looks like Gloria Stefan was right. The rhythm is going to get you. Mm. <laughs> it looks like somebody that I have no idea who sang it is also right. Rhythm is a dancer. The other game that got me really jazzed and mm-hmm. and my inverted penis In became ex- exter- extroverted. Extroverted. Extra- externally verted. Extroverted. Externally ver- verted was Batora Un- Lost Haven. Oh, Team 17s. No. That's another please, uh, please, please. interplanetary action RPG. As soon as I see here action RPG, I'm like, yeah, I'm in. Sold. Yeah, action RPG. I'm I'm good. I'm in. Um so yeah, I mean that that looked really cool, really interesting art. Uh it is coming out this fall as well. So the fall has a lot of cool indies coming to the Switch. Can I um, which is really I, nice. Can I mention my favorite? No. Game of the show? Oh, I'm sorry. Yes. Worth letting you go through I, it. I meant yes. <laughs> it is coming out next year, unfortunately. So oh, I'm I know. A little, 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 little sad tear for that. Mm-hmm. Um, I'll just play it instead of Starfield. I, I, but um, <laughs> <laughs> I, I know, I know which game you're gonna go, and I'm glad. I was gonna save it for last, but I. But oh, do you, oh, should we list. save it? Should we save it? I'm looking at the list. Here. I could save it. Um, Cult of the Lamb was shown, which <laughs> beat you to it, Nintendo. <laughs> right. We're so cool. <laughs> um, everything else kind of didn't really. Thanks for the algorithm bump, dude. Yeah. That Gibbon game looks so good. The Gibbon, Gibbon game, looked really good, yeah. Yeah, but I don't know. Yeah, Ooblets looked really, really fun. I mean, that's what it's been Ooblets out. But it's, 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 yeah, it's a fun it's, game. We know what Ooblets is. That wasn't mm-hmm. like anything mind blowing. Mm-hmm. Um, Curse the Golf, another great game will come in this which, summer. Yeah, we spoke about Curse the Golf yeah. already. I mean, mm-hmm. I mean, we're. Ooh, do you want to just talk about it? Because I think I know what you're talking about. Oh yeah, the we're game? gonna talk about it. But right. the game, Andy, go ahead. Tell us oh about the god. game. That oh my god, you guys took us all by surprise. This is this is it why got, video... it's got its claws in me. This is why video games exist. Yep. For games like this to be made one day, and that game is another crab's treasure. Oh <laughs> my god, it is a souls-like slash shells-like game. Shells-like. Where you play as a crab. With souls like combat, uh huh, it's the most beautiful thing. It is everything I want in an indie game. It's why I love indies because they, they're so yeah. they're so like it's at, at at one point they seem very low cost, but they're also like high creativity, and mm-hmm. that's what this game is. When you look at it, it's let's take a souls like format, but you're playing as a crab, and you can I guess you're fighting for shells. And that's like your armor. Is other new shells you get and you're just fighting a bunch of sea creatures mm-hmm. and there's giant lobsters and other sea like bizarreities and it's just it's just fantastic this is hey it's fantastic I said it. <laughs> this is the type of game that you see and you can't help but just grin and mm-hmm. smile and laugh because of how stupid amazing it looks uh, yeah. And and like you said, like the fact that something like this can even exist in the indie right. world is why <laughs> we love indie games. The, like watching the crab walk up to the shell, like to the coffee mug, and like huck it <laughs> on his back, and then start fighting a bunch of. Who doesn't want to do that? It looks no. so good. I want to do that like yesterday. Yeah, <laughs> if that's okay. Um, one of the other cool things, uh, about it is like the crab like looks like acts like a crab, mm-hmm. and. It makes Yo. complete and total sense. Like, yeah, that's exactly how a crab would fight. Yo. A crab would fight like it's in a Souls game. I'm wondering. I'm wondering. So you know what, what crab is doing they get when they sustain like battle damage, like from a from a fight? They perform like on site surgery. Sur- surgery. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They'll like amputate limbs, like, all right, this arm's fucked up. Bye. Cut it. And the next molting cycle will come right back. If we can do that, if we can lop off our own arms in this game and they grow back. <laughs> Oh my god. Yo. Yo. Fucking yo. Yo. That's all I have to <laughs> say about that. Yo. I, I, I can see all it. the speedrun like one arm percent <laughs> speedruns. <laughs> one claw percent. Oh man. Uh-huh. <laughs> Correct. 
Oh, you did Lord, it. Congratulations. it's so good. You, you, you did it. the thing. My God. Next um, year is like, whatever comes on, fuck me this game. This Andy, game takes a hot dump in all the other games coming out next year. You're, you're not lying. In <laughs> a couple of weeks here, Andy. Yes. We have DLC coming to a very, very fun game and a former guest of oh, the show. Oh, yes. Before we before you get into that, okay. I feel like you're, you're moving away from the indie world showcase. I was, yes. Just final thoughts, number yeah, grade idea, or letter idea. grade. What do you guys think overall of the show? Uh, I thought it was like a, like a solid A. Like, all right. So everything just, was great. Just being was, honest, I'm literally scrolling through it as we're having this discussion. Uh, and just scrolling through everything and, and having the discussion about the ones that we've talked about, uh, I give it a solid B plus A. Uh, mm-hmm. It's a fantastic showcase. It looks like everything on here, mm-hmm. most everything on here is worth playing. And then there's a couple of, a couple of weird ports. It was 20 games in 20 minutes. Mm-hmm. So what more could you ask for from a showcase, really? Yeah. My only thing, mm-hmm. and I don't want you to be the negative Nancy. To be that guy. But... I'm just kind of tired of the way Nintendo does these things. Oh, re- okay. Like, I just, I don't like the, like, overly narrated, like, hey, we're going to have good, let's go swing into this. Oh, like the, little, like, like the cringe just, the that segues, comes with it. The, like, I'm just, Give me the gameplay. Like, not right. even that, but, like, I would rather. This next game makes you feel a little bit sheepish. Put, put it this like, way. If I, the if I was doing this, if I was putting together a show. That wasn't of, bad like, at all. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. You're gonna get That's murdered. That's what it is. <laughs> if I was putting together something like this, like a showcase like this, and mm-hmm. I don't know, maybe that'll happen someday. Fingers mm-hmm. crossed. Who knows? But if I was doing something like this, I would have the devs, even if they're not the most polished people, like whatever. Nobody is more passionate about these games than the people making them, and I want to hear from them. I want and them know to that tell us firsthand. Yeah, like but, talking yeah. to them on packs, the PAX floor. Like, it's not do the way Nintendo does this and the way Sony's uh, and a lot of times does this. It doesn't feel special. It just feels like mm-hmm. a marketing event for these games. I want the games and the people who make them to be front and center, at mm-hmm. least for like, I don't know, twenty percent of the games. You know right. what I mean? Like four or five right. of the games just give you, give us like a little bit extra. You know, to add to that, it feels like when they do these things, it's like. These games are why you should buy the Switch or buy the PlayStation. Right. But it should be like, you should go buy these games. Right. Period. Full yeah, stop. There, there's always that's that agenda. It. Yeah. For, right. for, I mean, obviously, Nintendo's trying to sell software yeah. on Nintendo, and that's fine. Right. And like, and don't get me wrong, like, I'm so grateful that they do these indie showcases because, mm-hmm. like, there are, there's probably a dozen out of these 20 games that I had no idea existed. Same that here. I'm like, and, and Andy, like we get press releases, emails, uh, Twitter. Like we're constantly plugged into this sphere. So the fact that any game misses us is like magical. But the yeah, like but Nintendo, <laughs> yeah, like, exactly. But, like uh-huh. Nintendo's able to like give a, a massive platform for these mm-hmm. games, and we're grateful for that. Um, I just want them to shake up the formula a little bit. Um, yeah, it's still I a agree. solid B, B, yeah. B plus t- for mm-hmm. me. Um, the content was there. I love the games. All of that stuff is dope. Um, yeah, I just, I just want it to change its kind of attitude a little bit and the vibe and structure yeah, I get it. a little bit. I get it. I get it. Um, but yeah, let's, uh, let's get into former guest of the show. Let's build yes. a zoo oh my God. is getting DLC. It's coming in a couple of weeks, May 26th, and they are getting dinosaur Island. Hell yeah, wow. they are. Andy, yeah. for those who don't remember how ridiculous this game is. So the tell, tell people about let's build the zoo. <laughs> so the core <laughs> premise is you build a zoo, uh, mm-hmm. like the title says, but you can play it straight and be a lawful good zookeeper and run a proper zoo and get animals from all over the world and sell tickets and hire people and run it as a nice, well-oiled machine without any shady shit going on no or dragons. you can go like chaotic evil mm-hmm. and like double the genetic splicing and mix all your animals together make some really wacky results there's like 300 plus combinations of foods you can you can make Crazy. so there's that part and you can like sell them on the black market and make some extra <laughs> money there's a lot of weird shit so there's all of that 
which exists, and now we're adding dinos. This is what we were talking about when we were talking about innovation yes. in the indie space. And is the, zoo builders going game, evil? This game has so much depth yeah. and replay factor. It did not need this. At least so soon after it came out. It came out like a few months ago, I want to say. And now it's like, here's some here's like this massive DLC. And is it free? Um did I read that? Uh, no, right, there, or there's a not? there's a free update, but I think okay. the DLC itself is paid. Right, worth every penny add to your way, wish but... list it is oh, add to your wish list my lord i do not see a price on it well just says add to your wish list free 99 maybe it is free 99 i hmm. think it is free i think it is a free update um yeah so a great game got even greater and That's... what a great interview that was yeah he was a sweet guy that was such a fun fun he was a, show. He was a, a sweet sweet man I, yeah. I liked him a lot revealing uh let's build a zoo. so look, look for our yeah look for our um <laughs> our interview of that on our on our backlog on dual screens podcast you mm-hmm. can find it on this youtube channel i, I believe it, yeah. it is it exists. Yeah, it's on there so you can go do that um what else we got we got our kickstarter of the week andy and this one oh. i am so happy that i found this one and then i'm so happy that you took the ball and ran with it outside of of just the kickstarter of the week but Mm. we are uh we have three weeks to go on this one and it is a game called gremlin's tale gremlin's tale it is a monster taming game with unique combat monster riding exploration and an all fairy tale monster design this game looks freaking awesome there's like a big puffball thing that you can just roll around roll on. on. Yeah, so you're like you're like strapped to it like you got hit by a, a giant right. snowball. Yeah, yeah. Uh, right now they have hit their first. Uh, I believe their first goal. Yep they they have hit their goal. It is funded. There is a playable demo, which is what one of those that I will be playing and making a video of. Um, the cr- creature designs are freaking awesome. There are three, I guess, starters, I, mm-hmm. I get, or like whatever. Um, their evolutions are so funny. Um, th- so it's very similar to like a Pokemon like that. Um, but man. I just can't, I can't get like, over being strapped to the snowball. It's like, like the animation on it is so good because <laughs> it's just like starfished out on yeah, it. Man. It's so it's good. great. It's great. Um, <laughs> there, there is a ton of different type types here. Uh, it looks like there's 14 different types. You have might, charm, mental, arcane, blight, evil, death, fire, electric, wind, life, earth, water, and ice. That is a so, lot. For ton, what tons is, of types for what is a one. Person and it looks like team. it looks like the also. it looks like the combat is more action oriented as mm-hmm. opposed to like yes. uh, turn based battles. It seems like it's more um, kind of like a like RTSE, um, where yeah, you're kind yeah, of yeah. just like moving the, them around and telling them what attacks to do in like real time. But like you're not just like taking control of one; you're like directing your team, um, like uh, Brutal Legend almost. Yeah. Um, are you mean over Overlord? Overlord, yes. I'm sorry, that's what I was thinking. Of. Brutal Legend, very very similar though. Brutal Legend, very, yeah, yeah. Um, good game too. So let's let's just read a little bit about this one. This one, uh, Gremlins takes an open real time approach to make the combat and the world interactions unique from your typical turn based monster taming games like Pokemon. In Gremlin, Gremlins Tale, you have to order multiple Gremlins around at once in real time, blending strategy with act with action. So just like I was saying. Um, they they have like a bunch of their designs here or he they he i don't know patrick is i don't know some such of the evolution a, such a some of the evolution pictures yeah. look so cool um I like that humpty like the humpty dumpty one like yeah. at first looks like a lick tongue mm-hmm. but then <laughs> but then just is a is an egg falling off a wall like the evolution is it falling off a wall the evolution apparently. is like the brick underneath it get, becomes a wall <laughs> Yeah. But I love the gingerbread boy that becomes like a gingerbread superhero with one arm. Gingerbread man. Like it's, <laughs> the other one, I'm not. I don't know. It looks a little weird, but um, I mean, they're just fantastical, whimsical, silly designs, and some of them mm-hmm. are so cool. And I'm, I want this game in my veins, like immediately. Oh, it's happening, dude. Yeah. 
Yeah, he's a very sweet guy, Patrick. Oh we spoke God. on we spoke on Twitter for a little bit. He's like, oh, we'll set a date, but remind me because I forget about things a lot. And then he was like, yay, th- thanks for money. <laughs> thanks for giving me some money. <laughs> Listen to this. the main objective of the game. So, he just seems so chill. Tell me how wholesome this is. The main objective in Gremlin's Tale is to return books you owe to the Grand Library <laughs> where they were mysteriously checked out <laughs> under your name. So it's it's a collectathon. It's, it's like Banjo Kazooie. It's like a wasn't it like a Seinfeld episode you know, premise. Like it's some you, missing books. <laughs> like it's it's that simple. But if you scroll down, there is like one of the most complicated, uh, like weakness charts I think yeah. I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It, it looks it like looks a like, it looks board. like yeah, it looks like Picross. <laughs> it looks oh like pixel art. It looks like they're, yeah, they're, like you're designing. Something. But it's awesome, man. Like this is it does. It looks super cool. Either way, um. You're Never Ever Land. That's the name of the place you're in. Never um, Ever Land. Never Ever Land. Mm-hmm. The the art is gorgeous. The soundtrack is kick ass. Maybe we could listen to one. Do we want to listen to? Let's listen to Adventure Theme. I'm gonna play Adventure Theme for our, little, for our listeners. A little, little snippet. A little snippet. <laughs> We can just pop around. Dark woods. Oh, yeah. Mm. Mm, Yeah. Oh, look at that whimsy. Oh, yeah. This one's like whimsical. Tight. (laughs) Fat beats. Yeah, wow. (laughs) Incredible. Fantastic. One would say. Come on. Like, can you get any better than that? (laughs) You really can. Let's skip ahead a little bit. You really can. Oh, look at that. A little jazzy. That sounds so good. Anyway, that um, that sounds like I would like it. music I've heard today in my ears. uh, (laughs) There's. Card access? What is this? Okay. Hold on. Collectible cards. Okay. 15 randomly selected cards. No duplicates. And foil cards. You receive a copy. Okay, so there's card packs as for Oh, it's got they're, they're like trading cards though. It, it, it looks like it's a Yeah. They made this game for That's, you. Yeah, <laughs> this is your game. <laughs> Look at these like, minis. Look at the You are minis. the demographic. Uh, it's a problem. <laughs> 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 I don't oh, want it no. now. <laughs> oh no! You, you, did you not scroll down that far before? I don't want to. Uh, I have, but I was just like curse. Okay, so this got a November 2024 release. By the way, my yeah. birthday's in November, so just saying. If you want to get me like the super mega pack, <laughs> go for it. Please feel free to get please me the do. super mega pack. Yeah. All the collectibles, I will have them all. Anyway, that's our Kickstarter of the week. We can make it a channel goal to get you that super duper pack. <laughs> yeah, what's the cost? Well, let me see. What's the cost yeah. of that down there? What does that I don't, cost? I don't know. I, 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 we have two years to get that funded, Steven. 10K. <laughs> that's it? Is that what it costs for real? <laughs> no, Fuck! I don't know. I, don't I was going to say, God damn. <laughs> <laughs> not, not quite. Uh, let's take a look at our mailbag, see if there was anything in there. I don't think there was this week. Uh, oh, my God. Ugh. I keep getting, I keep seeing that stupid Tifa statue. I hate it. Um, <laughs> oh, and she's like, oh, here we go. Right, that's in, the, hype, that's the hype zone, man. <laughs> here's this news. Uh, show. Sorry. Friend of the show, uh, Len, a developer oh, of Pixel yes. for Pixel Noir. Yeah. Yes, some Sword uh, Tech Games. Yes. Dropped mm-hmm. a Discord, it has a new Discord mm-hmm. with a ton of new. Gifts to look at of the game and screenshots, um, pixel noir, all that good stuff, mm-hmm. all this, all the fun stuff. So, um, you can find that, and they're on Twitch too, and mm-hmm. on Twitch, yeah. Um, at Leo Likos, so twitch.tv slash Leo Likos. So, you can do that as well. They're friend, friends of the show, we love them very much. We'll give them a quick mm-hmm. shout out up in here. Um, game looks incredible. Um, what else we got? I guess that's it. I guess that's it, you guys. Does our yeah, does our I mean, uh, does our chat have any questions, comments, burning. or concerns? Whilst, 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 you have us speak now or forever hold for, your speak pieces. now forever hold your pieces. Uh, anything else you guys want to talk yeah. about before we uh, say goodbye? I'm gonna. Ooh. I'll save. I'll. I have a Kickstarter that I'll save for next week's Kickstarter. How long does it have left? How long does it have left? That's a great question that you just asked. 
And it's uh, over. And it's gone. And it's over. <laughs> Let me take a look really quick. 13 days. Okay. We'll make it. It will make it. It'll be That's the final, good timing. It'll be the final good week. That's yeah. good. Mm-hmm. That's good. So if you do back Gremlins, uh, Gremlins Tale, you know you got to tell them that we sent you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's got to be the thing that you do. Have mm-hmm. to. If you don't, I'm going to be real mad at all of you. There was that one guy that was like, you tell him that it's my your fault that we have a Kickstarter now. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I guess we could <laughs> oh, talk about that. Yeah, let's I mean, talk about that. It, we could say that really quickly, yes. Yeah, please. Yeah. Let's do that. Um, do that. that yes. was in self-promotion, right? Yes. yes. Um, so guests of the show that you don't – nobody knows yet because the show has not posted yet. Uh, <laughs> but we interviewed Josh, the developer of Eternal Exodus, um, which is a really freaking cool – uh jrpg and it had a a failed kickstarter at one point beginning of the year beginning of the year yes Mm -hmm. um learned a lot of lessons what as of our recording which i believe was what tuesday it was on tuesday yeah Yeah. it was tuesday and i asked him like if you go this route again the kickstarter route you know what lessons have you learned he's like well I, i might do it again i might not Two days and later. then, lo and behold, he's <laughs> like, hey, guys, guys, after a conversation, I'm doing it. Right. July 15th, Kickstarter going out. So thanks to the Dual Screens podcast and DualScreens.com, we are now getting a second chance mm-hmm. at kickstarting Eternal Exodus. And let me tell you what he has planned for that Kickstarter, the rewards, what, what they want to do. This game's coming out regardless, um, but this is a self-funded game. This the Josh is doing this himself, and if this Kickstarter has to go well, and because he deserves every single bit of it, really, really sh- good dude. Um, right. And they're, they're Shin, Megami, Shin Megami Tensei uh, vibes, like it, it, it's crazy. It's so cool. The little and, art, uh, the little art thumbnail looks gorgeous. Yeah, it really is. Mm-hmm. And uh, mm-hmm. there may or may not be a boss character that we came up with during yes, our we interview did. with him no there is we did <laughs> we don't want to tell people that there we won't confirmed in game <laughs> we won't say who it is we won't we, say we who gave it, it a name we gave it an attack it has pattern. an origin we gave it a lore yeah it's <laughs> it was got really lore. really good yeah. it's got lore um it also has um prerequisites it does to being able to fight said boss <laughs> We yeah, I can't wait to listen to this episode. It's, we'll yeah, tell you it's that gonna much. be great. We have a lot of fun on this. We have a couple of weeks. Show we yeah, do <laughs> for that one. I think that's the twenty sixth, right? Or that's going to be yeah, in two weeks. Yeah, twenty seventh. That's gonna mm-hmm. that's gonna release on the twenty seventh. But yeah. a lot of a lot of indie game content coming up here. Thank you so much for watching and listening, folks. We love you so much. Thank you, Andy. Thank you, Matt. Thank you, Chat. Twitch.tv slash dual screen streams. I love you. And as always, bye, bye. What the hell was that? Oh, bye, 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 Please be excellent to indie games. Revida, I just played a game playing Revida. Oh, and yeah. Suddenly, suddenly, I knew the games <laughs> all look nothing to me. Revida, again. Uh, yeah. <laughs>